It's moving day. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For the ones that don't know, my name is Bella. And if you are new or haven't already, don't forget to like, comment, share because it helps get the channel out there, you guys. It's moving day. I just wanted to get everything packed up and just get on the road because it's a 31 hour drive. Well, not considering that we still have to make stops and we have the cats too, so. And actually, I wanna show you what the, like the cats are pretty funny, hold on. They are not happy and they are not gonna enjoy this 31 hour drive. I know, it's gonna be hot. <laughs> they look so funny. I want to do like a walk around just to make sure that like it comes back <laughs> to us in this condition. I hope, fingers crossed. I feel like you just never know with shipping the cars off. But you guys, that's that. I can't believe it's that time. There he goes. All right, you guys, we are off and the drive begins. God damn, 30 hours. Bruh. The fit's about to be at like 155,000 miles by the time we get there. It's just the heat that we're gonna have to deal with going through Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico. So I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> I believe we're crossing the Alabama state line. There we go. Oh. <laughs> to take a bathroom break because I really have to pee. These are so cool. We wanted to at least get like 10 hours of driving each day and then towards like the end of our last day kind of punching those extra hours. Last night I think we stopped driving around like 11-ish, almost midnight. Um, right now we're in Oklahoma. We just entered Oklahoma not that long ago. I think next is Texas. I think our black cat's like freaked out over there. Hi! I'm getting kind of tan. <laughs> He's scared. What's up, Riku? What's up, buddy? I'm literally dying. But we just have the rest of Texas to get out of, which we're like going at the top of it. Nothing like too crazy because Texas is the biggest but we're literally going like at the top of it. You guys are so lucky. Like they've never been out of the house, right? But they're just like freaked out, but I feel like they're not used to it. New Mexico, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We're almost there to Cali. New Mexico looks so creepy. There's literally nothing out here. So 
little under 500 miles till we get into Los Angeles apparently and yeah it's so freaking crazy because we just went through you know majority of like the desert I guess here in Arizona and now we're like in the mountains and it's so weird because it's like confusing whether we're going up in elevation or going down in elevation it's like fluctuating but I probably in total have gotten like a total of six hours of sleep ever since we started our drive we're almost there and I'm, I'm super excited So it's been, let's see, about like three days since we've got here to California and I honestly needed the rest. Like it was ridiculous how much like I was losing sleep, but it was totally worth it even though it was like 30 hours shy. I'm just saying. Like, I'm just gonna say right now that I am not gonna be making that drive anytime soon. Like, I don't see me ever leaving here. I did want to give you guys that last update before we close out the video. And I just wanna say so far, California is awesome. The weather is great. It's not hot here. I think the hottest it probably gets here is probably like 80. And that's nothing compared to like what it is right now in Georgia. Georgia hit like 100 or it feels like 100. And so I'm just like, that's, yeah. <laughs> and then on top of that, yes, the cost of living is very expensive, but like we knew the risk coming here. And a lot of you did um, point that out, especially with gas, because you know, I'm gonna be paying like almost like $100, I think, or $100 for gas now, because before I was paying about 60. Traffic is traffic, you know, every city is gonna have its good and bad things. I definitely would have regretted it if I didn't go out and try to adventure and just like see the possibility of me staying here in the long run. I've seen a couple modified cars here and they've been louder and lower than what the G is. I don't see a lot of cops. Apparently my area is very chill. As long as, you know, you're just cruising, you're doing your thing and the thing is like, like, I don't see me taking the G out as much because I do want to get a daily. You only see me taking the G like long distances if I have to to meet, um, especially events that like I know are guaranteed not to get shut down as far as the G goes. So the G's not here yet. Uh, I don't think it's been picked up yet, but when it does, um, it should take about like six to eight days depending on when it gets picked up. So I wanna say in the next following two weeks at most, I wanna say it should be here. I really can't believe I drove across the country. Like that's just mind blowing. I myself, like I've never traveled outside of like Alabama, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, and I think that's it. And then I think Tennessee, if I didn't say that already, but that's it. See, my car's not that loud. So that's the thing I was like, oh, I'll be fine, I'll be fine. And a lot of you on Instagram were talking about how like, oh, you know, why would you go out there? It's probably like the worst state for a car enthusiast to go. And I'm just like, opportunities do. Like as a content creator and for my career in the long run, it's what I wanna do. At the end of the day, like this is what we wanna do. We feel like it's right. And if it's not, then we can always just go back, find somewhere else to go. You know, it's not really a big deal, but you guys have been like, you know, helping me out with new pages to follow. And I appreciate that. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.